It's me and the happy elf here are at the WFMY News 2 Holiday Blood Drive. This is the 59th year. Right now, we're giving you the opportunity to ask whatever blood donation request, uh, questions that you have. The number's at the bottom of your screen, 336-379-5775. Wes Haynes from the American Red Cross is here answering those questions. This person says, can someone who takes pain medication give blood? In general, yes. However, I would say call 1-800-RED-CROSS, talk to one of our professionals, just to make sure there's nothing off there that, in addition to taking meds, might be important to know. So anybody who has any kind of illness or takes any kind of medication all the time, that's probably your one-stop shop, right, is to call that 1-800 yep. number on Red Cross before you schedule an appointment, and they're going to ask you very detailed questions. Yep. I'll also say if you do a lot of traveling outside the country, that's another time you might want to call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Just tell them where you've been, when you were there, how long you were there. Those are really good things to do before you schedule your appointment, if you travel a lot. Right, because they may say, well, you need to wait another two months yep. or something of that nature to give blood. Okay, this person's asking, what happens if you get lightheaded when you're giving blood? So that's not terribly uncommon. First thing, let our staff know that you're feeling a little lightheaded. We've got a lot of procedures in step. We're going to give you some ice cool damp cloth, give you some water. We're gonna make sure you're feeling a little bit better before you get off. That is common though, but just make sure you let us know. Okay, and then the next person says, what is special about the B positive blood type? So every type of blood is kind of special. B positive is just one specific time, and that's really good for our other B positive recipients. So someone who is B positive that needs blood, we're gonna want your blood to kind of help those people out. Right, and so there's all of these different types of blood, yep. and everybody will say, well, my blood is special because every blood type is special. Absolutely. But I know that you do look for O, people yep. O and O negative, is that correct? Yeah, so O donors are gonna be the ones that can give their blood to the most amount of people, especially O negative. That's why we have some special procedures just set up. We, if you really, if you weigh enough, we can put you on the power red machine, and we'll just take those red blood cells. We'll give you your platelets and plasma back, plus a little saline fluid. So usually, most people feel better. So O's are definitely, in, in many ways, the most important. But surely, all blood is important. We need all types. Right. And kind of let's go over that again. I mean, I know that we all think of like you know car accidents and things of that nature where people would need blood in an emergency. But really, there's a need for blood on a consistent basis. Yeah, we use the statistic all the time. Every two seconds, someone in America is going to need blood. And that could be a mother who's giving birth. That could be a cancer patient who's going through treatment. That could be, uh, we already talked about sickle cell a lot today. Those patients need sickle, uh, blood transfusions all the time. There's tons of reasons why someone needs blood, illness, sickness, those kind of things, as well as the accidents that we talk about all the time. And there's no way for us to just manufacture blood. I mean, we have to donate the blood. At this point in time, there's no other way to cure somebody. There's no other way to help someone. Yeah, we can give you some fluids, but those fluids are not gonna help the body heal. The blood is what helps you heal. So for for those people who need the blood, this is the only opportunity for them. And during the holiday seasons, where we have bad, more bad weather, we have more fires, we have more car accidents, all those things kind of build up the need for blood. But unfortunately, with schools being out, people traveling, we sometimes have a harder time getting people to donate blood. Mm -hmm. And so I know while you're out there traveling, if you go to 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcrossblood.org, you can find a blood drive near you, even if it's not in your home territory. Or you can just schedule it. You may say, January is my good time, and I know I can do that in January. You can make your own appointment. Absolutely. And the best part is on the website, just pop in the zip code of where you're going to be, and it'll tell you what blood drives are in the area and okay. the dates that you're looking for.